He served this university for over three decades. We know Lawrence Skuvenick. We know his passion, his dedication, his knowledge, and his ability to lead this university. Uh, we received, uh, during his time as provost, he's helped strengthen Texas Tech's position as a leading national research university. We received the Tier 1 designation by the Carnegie Classification of Institutions of Higher Education as a university in the highest act research activity category. Also, we have received reaffirmation during his tenure by SACS uh, accreditation. Most importantly, he shares with me a bold vision for elevating Texas Tech to new heights. I have great confidence in him. It, it, there's no doubt that he is the most qualified person to lead Texas Tech. So today, I'm proud to add another well-deserved position to Dr. Skuvenet's long list of service to Texas Tech. And I get the opportunity and honor to introduce you as the 17th president of Texas Tech University. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chancellor Duncan. I thank you for being here today. But as I walked into the room, um, I was kind of overcome with a flood of emotion because I also realize that my thanks go to you over many years. You've been so supportive, and I'm so pleased that I can serve you in this capacity. Chancellor Duncan, um, I want to thank you. I want to recognize and thank Sherman Long and each member of our Board of Regents. I am profoundly humbled and grateful for this opportunity to serve Texas Tech as its president. It is an honor to work with you, President Lang, President May, and President Mitchell, the board, my fellow faculty, the students, the staff and alumni, and the friends of Texas Tech as we continue to make this great university even stronger. Yeah. 